This is a walkthrough video of 6226 Camp 4. We're in Gulfgate, um, near the corner of Savage, which takes you right to downtown Gulfgate and all the little shops and restaurants. Um, this is an estate sale. Camp 4 a pretty, it, it's, a, it's a nice little street here. All the homes are pretty moderate um, on the street. They're pretty typical Gulfgate neighborhood. Uh, this be this home is two bedrooms, two baths, about 1,300 square feet. I have to say the roof looks to be new, and so a newer roof, I'm almost certain of it. And uh, this black home, old windows, kind of an interesting setback here uh, where the front door is on an angle. And um, so we have tile in here. You know, this home needs a little work, a little TLC. Um, hmm, it's kind of an interesting front door over here. And so you have a big, big area, which is actually kind of nice. Um, yeah, this is kind of a side door here. Which looks like a front door, but just a side door. Oh yeah, and this uh, little, this little swale or ditch runs behind the property. Uh, rarely is there any water in there. Um, got this little back deck which kind of drops off, but it's, you know, it's private. So, now I'm walking in the side door. <clears throat> Lovely lavender color in here. Um, so, I guess at one time this probably was a bedroom or an office. Hard to say, this is a big area. So I'll walk in here, I'll start here. This would be the master bedroom. It actually is a good size room. And this has uh, French doors that go out to this deck area which could um, be made to look a little nicer. Got crazy colors in here, you got the yellow and the lavender. But it's a big room, big room with two closets. Um, very yucky. Some issues down there behind the toilet. The shower was redone at one point, but kind of a long time ago. Bathroom needs a lot of work here. Um, house seems to have pretty good bones though. This uh, kitchen is gross. Uh, and also this color, geez Louise. Who picks these colors? Between the green, the lavender, and the Yellow, horrible. But, um, hmm. Very interesting. I guess this wall could completely be removed. This could be one big open space, which would be nice. A lot of space in here, though. This is a really big room. Could be pretty cool, actually. You could do something really neat if you took out this wall. And unfortunately, probably in here is the water heater. Water heater looks to be brand new. Very new. So that could be relocated and this whole thing could be opened up, which would be kind of neat. And you could make that a bedroom because you could almost make it a little, just close off that wall and make a bedroom out of it. This is the garage, does have a garage. And looks like there've been some issues here. Oh, what happened here? It looks like someone fell through there or smashed it up. I don't know exactly what happened. Maybe a garage door opener malfunctioned. Looks like someone stepped through there as well. This has uh, got some issues here in this wall where the washer and dryer was. It's all gonna be torn out and redone. This is the guest bedroom, which also has French, do French doors going out to this little uh, area. At one time I can see this, was, there was a cage and this was uh, screened in. Just looking at it, um, based on that piece of aluminum being there, there, this was a screened area. It was removed probably when the roof was done, but I wouldn't bother putting it back. There's not enough value in it. This fence um, kind of ends here, which is a bit strange. Seems like you'd want one more piece of fence. It's some serious mold issues here. I wonder how that got there. Wow, that's pretty yucky. That's all gonna have to be remediated. 
I guess that backs up on this bathroom, which obviously has some issues. Yeah, we got a lot of work to be done. So, <clears throat> I would say less the roof. I would take out this wall, do two bathrooms, one kitchen, a lot of drywall repair, a lot of painting, a lot of doors. Um, you know, these windows are in pretty sad shape. You know, that, but you don't want to go too much um, and do too, too much here. Because... This neighborhood can only support about 170 tops per square foot. And 170 tops times 1,300 square feet under air is about 200 and 220, I would say. This, this home really would top out 220. And it's going to take between two bathrooms, a kitchen, taking out this wall, all the drywall, doing some windows. Um, I mean, you can easily put 40 into this, plus flooring. Um, yeah, I would say having a budget of 40. Let me just take a quick look at the air conditioning unit. That's another big ticket item. Must be on the other side. Let's take a quick gander at that. I guess they're asking 169. That's uh, that's a little steep. I'm gonna say that's probably too steep. Sorry. Yeah, it's got an old AC. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say 45,000 on the rehab. $45,000 on the rehab is what it would take to make this um, pretty nice, but that's probably not going to get you more than about $229 on the, on the sale. So I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. And as always, thanks for watching.